Hello everyone. I am Shubhan Balakrishnan. I welcome you all to the weekly weather discussion of India Meteorological Department. Looking into the synoptic systems of the last week, the major synoptic systems were the depression in the Arabian Sea followed by the depression over the Bay of Bengal. The depression over the Arabian Sea originated inland travel across central India, uh, Rajasthan, South Pakistan and to north and to west central uh, arabian sea the the depression or the cyclonic storm which was later named as asna gave extremely heavy rainfall over regions of gujarat saurashtra and kutch with uh, rainfall amounting to approximately 40 centimeters over this region uh, the track followed by the cyclonic storm asna is can be seen here it is the origination of system in, with respect to the depression over central india traveling in the westward direction uh, all the way till Rajasthan and uh, South Pakistan and then system is going in the southwestward direction and weakened into depression on the 2nd of uh, September. Looking into the second system which originated in the last week over the Bay of Bengal was the depression over the uh, uh, west settled Bay of Bengal which uh, uh, originated over the region and traveled all the way across across the region across uh, Kalingapatnam and uh, gave extremely heavy and exceptional rainfall over the region with Mahamubabad giving rainfall in the ranges of 40 centimeters. This is the seven day cumulative rainfall map for the last uh, one week and you can see the extremely heavy rainfall mostly focused over the Gujarat region, Saurashtra region in association with the cyclonic storm Asna followed by the Telangana region getting extremely heavy and very heavy rainfall with respect to the depression which made landfall inwards. And these are the re areas of the last one week which experienced heavy to very heavy rainfall. Looking into the weekly rainfall scenario for last one week, uh, the rainfall map here we can see the major parts of Northeast India with Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, West UP, uh, West East MP, Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand, Tamil Nadu and Konkan being the deficit scale and the major parts of the country you can see the North India, the western parts of the country, Central India receiving the normal and excess rainfall with respect to both the systems which travel within the country and in inland. So these are the total number of subdivisions which had large excess values for last one week and six subdivisions with excess and nine subdivisions with deficit value. Looking into the cumulative rainfall for the last one week, the country as a whole experienced 25% positive departure rainfall. Looking into the seasonal rainfall values from the 1st of June till the 4th of September, we can see the actual rainfall being 786 mm and the country as a whole has received rainfall 8% above uh, uh, normal. And with respect to the values, we can see Arunachal Pradesh, Bihar, Himachal Pradesh and Punjab being the, the deficit area with uh, lesser rainfall, whereas parts of, you can say Rajasthan, Gujarat and major parts of Peninsula India getting excess rainfall. Looking into the today's synoptic conditions, the monsoon trough at mean sea level passes through Suratgarh, Rotak, Orai, Mandla to the center of low pressure over west central and adjoining northwest bay and then to southeastwards to east central bay. Along with this system, the, lowest, the systems in the lower levels are one over the eastern parts of the country, uh, cyclonic circulation over Oman, uh, cyclonic circulation over Haryana neighborhood. The major highlights of today's events being the heavy to very heavy rainfall likely forecasted over Gujarat, Maharashtra and coastal Andhra Pradesh for today and heavy to very heavy rainfall over East Rajasthan, Uttarakhand for the next three days and expected decrease in rainfall thereafter. Looking into the MSLP charts and the rainfall charts of IMDGFS, we can see for the next one week the low pressure which is currently over the uh, of the along and off the coast of Andhra Pradesh is forecasted to uh, develop into a depression in next two three, three days and uh, progress in northwestward direction 
looking into the rainfall map suggests the same with the 850 hectopascal winds giving the formation of the depression and the subsequent movement of rainfall bands inward. The extended range forecast of IMD TRF model gives you the week 1 and week 2 rainfall being the normal to above normal over most parts of central east and northeast India with below normal over peninsula and northwest India. Looking into the forecast, rainfall forecast anomaly, we can see the positive anomaly or over the major parts of uh, you can say be a uh, west MP, Chhattisgarh and Odisha for day week 2 we can see mostly over west MP. Looking into the week 2 rainfall forecast, rainfall is forecasted to be normal to above normal over northwest and central India and near normal over east and northeast India and southwest peninsula, northwest India is expected to receive below normal rainfall. The cyclogenesis or evolution from the IMD MME model gives you the first week with the current low pressure system uh, and the expected intensification of system with depression next two to three days with the first week, second week giving the same system traveling inward over the region. For round the clock weather updates, kindly request you to follow IMD social media handles. Thank you.